All right, now we're over to Aquarius. Has a unique vibe right here. And this piece is titled Woogie, which is my moniker. It's a name that I go by. And I wanna go over here. These are some of my older pieces. Now, the light is pretty poor quality in here, but I'll just give you just a quick overview of some of the older pieces that I have. This one seems to get a lot of attention. It's titled Matrix. I painted this after the movie. It's pretty unique. Uh, I painted this piece. It's titled CC. I painted it for CC Peniston personally and was never able to deliver it to her, so I still have it. Uh, this piece is titled Kafi. It's named after my aunt. She plays the harp. Um, I can see an abstract harp in the painting. That's why I titled it that. It's just one of my many pieces. This piece here is titled Jala, which means illumination in Arabic. It was inspired by a creative person that I met. And moving right along, this piece is titled Mirage. And this piece is titled Dawn. It's kind of chaotic and crazy. I actually, in my mind, titled it China Dawn because in my mind, that's what I imagine Daybreak was like in China. All the chaos and what have you. This piece is titled Enigma. And it's the smallest piece that I have and for some reason it draws a lot of attention. I really don't know why. You can see in comparison to my hand, it's a really a particularly small piece. Maybe 15 inches by 20 inches. I don't know, it's pretty small, but draws a lot of attention. This guy here is one of my, what I consider one of my masterpieces. He is Rouge. And I created him after 9-11. And this individual kind of reflects on the pain and the chaos that went down that day. So let's kind of touch base on that. And this piece here is titled Passion. It's got a very passionate vibe to it. A lot to reflect on.